Oh man, this next fight is interesting. We've got Kusain Askabov finally making his UFC debut after sitting on the sidelines for about two years now. And it's worth noting, man, look at this guy's record. 23 wins, zero losses. That's absolutely insane. But what's so crazy and what's got so many people talking is this is going to be a test. He's going to be tested by Herbert Burns. Herbert Burns, four-time Brazilian no-gi uh, uh, jiu-jitsu champion, one-time world no-gi uh, jiu-jitsu champion, um, Kusain Askabov also has a pretty good, um, like, record as well, outside of MMA, as he was the former Russian combat sambo champion, he's a former Yukado Universal Karate World Champion, and he won the 2014 Naga Featherweight Tournament in Monaco, so that's pretty good for him, man, but it's definitely worth noting that this, this record, man, this record is great, at 23-0, and he was meant to fight on Dana White's contender series against Joanna Brito, and he was a pretty sizable prospect, uh, a favourite in that fight too. But I feel like we've got to talk about the level of competition that he's fought, man. You look at this guy, 3-0, and mm -hmm. and when you're 22-0, and like, come on, 7-0, um, and potentially a good win. You look at this guy, 7-0 and record, all of his wins, the guys who are losing records, even a non-tapology page as well. You keep scrolling down, you scroll down, you see not the greatest wins. That win over Donovan Desmay is actually not too bad, to be fair, and the Louise Philho wins all right too. But you keep going down, you find a guy 7-1 and when he was 13-0, and Benjamin Brander. At the time, that wasn't, man. This guy fought guys without uh, tapology pages, and then he and then he like beat one guy that was 2-1 to fight Kusain Eskabov. Like, the level of competition, although it look, might look great on paper, it's really not that high. And it's pretty hard to say because these WWFC guys... I mean, like, he's winning the first round, he's finishing the guys he should, he's taking guys to decision that are uh, a pretty high level as well, and he's looking great against this level of competition, but we haven't seen him fully tested, and I feel like this is where he's going to get his first test against Herbert Burns, because Herbert Burns has been fighting elite levels of competition pretty much throughout his whole career. Like, he started off in his second fight ever after going 1-0 and against a guy with a losing record. He fought a guy that was 5-0, he fought a very experienced 36-25. and This is in one FC, 10-1, 8-4, 9-1. and then he fought Movli Kabuliev, current uh, PFL champion, I believe, or former PFL champion anyway. And then he lost to Magomed Id Idrisov. After that, he went on a little bit of a win streak, fought on Dana White's contender series and won. And now he's got a couple of good wins inside the UFC. He lost to um, Daniel Pineda in 2020 and hasn't really fought since. So both guys haven't fought in about two years. But it's worth noting, man. Like, it's just so crazy that we've got a 23-0 guy making the UFC debut, and people are having doubts. It's also worth noting he last fought at 135 pounds. This fight is taking place at featherweight, and uh, Herbert Burns recently weighed in at 149 and a half pounds. So I feel like Herbert Burns is going to be the bigger man in the octagon as well. Like, this is such a crazy fight, because I don't know who's going to win. I feel like there's going to be a lot of research required, a lot of tape study on Kusain Askabov, although there won't be too much tape because most of his wins, most recently anyway, have been taking place and finishing inside the first round. He does have an Anaconda choke win over the guy that was 7-0, but that was a very padded 7-0. He's got a gear 10 over Luis Fialho, who I think isn't actually too bad of a win. Like, he's got good wins. He's got a lot of submission wins and a lot of decision wins. 10 submission wins, 6 KO, and 7 decisions. So he's a very well-rounded fighter. As I said, he's got a great karate background as well. And he's also got a great ground game as well to go with it. Herbert Burns, a very good jiu-jitsu game. And he's got 8 submission wins, 1 key KO, and 2 decisions. Very good uh, jiu-jitsu game, just like his brother does as well. Absolute insanity going to be taking place uh, on UFC Fight Night in July. Like, UFC July is so stacked already, man. Like, we've already got a couple of great fights added to this card. I mean, Askar Askarov's on there. Kusain Askarov, 23-0. Like, this is absolutely crazy to think about who's going to win. I'm going with Askarov, but we've got Burns. I feel like Burns is going to be a very live underdog. I don't know what the odds are going to be. But, man, this is going to be so crazy. Like, I feel like um Herbert Burns is probably the guy to pick. As the dog, but I feel like Askarov definitely has got that experience. He's got 23 and 0. He's got 23 MMA fights. He's got karate experience as well. Herbert Burns has uh, jiu-jitsu experience. Herbert Burns is live for the upset, man. It's crazy that they put Kusain Askarov up against Herbert Burns, who's an older guy. And if he beats Kusain Askarov, yes, it's going to be a great win on his record. But what are they going to do with that? He's almost 35 years old. I feel like they probably should have put Kusain Askarov up against someone a little bit younger. Maybe someone who's lost a couple of fights recently as well. Maybe someone even at 135, but it, it, it appears Kusain Eskimov maybe wants to fight at featherweight now, which would be a pretty good weight class for him as well, but featherweight's pretty stacked, bantamweight's pretty stacked as well. It's going to be very interesting to see where Kusain Eskimov kind of fits into all of this, and if he looks super, super impressive against Herbert Burns, I feel like we might have another Kamzat Shumayev, um, 
situation. Like Hussein Eskwov's got 2.5 million followers on Instagram. I don't know, like, if they're all real or not, but I feel like that's still just an insane following to come into the UFC with. <laughs> like, what a sign-in for the UFC. Like, absolutely insanity. Um, I'm just really excited for this for this debut, but it's just so hard to make a prediction because the record, so good, 23-0. and 0, Very, very impressive record. Definitely a record I can respect. But the level of competition kind of frightens me away from going, Kusain Eskov's going to win 110% 10 out of 10 times because Herbert Burns is the live dog for the submission, man. If Kusain Eskov shoots for a takedown and is on top, he can't get too comfortable because Herbert Burns is going to be live from the bottom for uh, for a sub, man. Like, this is such a crazy fight. I just can't... I can't really get my head around it, really. This is just absolutely so... This is absolutely such an insane, uh, insane, insane bout. You know what I mean? Um, I'm going with Kusain Eskwov to win his UFC debut. At 23 and 0, it's pretty hard to deny that record. But there's so many little holes in that record, man. Like, some of his best-looking wins aren't that great. You look at the records of the other guys, great. But you look at some of the guys that they've fought to get those records, not so great. You know what I mean? In fact, his last win was over a guy that was 3-0, and and that was two years ago. How are we supposed to know what Kusain Eskwov is going to look like? absolutely crazy fight man i really can't wait to see it but um yeah i'm going with Usain Eskabov to win i think he's gonna be 24 and 0 by the end of this but this is so crazy to think that a guy with a record this good is only making his ufc debut man it's crazy to think about